storytelling. That's the main difference. That's the biggest key to the genius of Kendrick Lamar. And let me start off by saying, I'm not even the biggest Kendrick Lamar fan. Like, I messed some songs going back to like Michael Jordan, Rick and Mortis, Rigor Mortis. I'm like, Rigor Mortis. I promise I know English. <laughs> hey, Rigor Mortis. Uh, even the hits like Swimming Pools, like, you know, shit like that. I ain't gonna lie. But I've never heard a Kendrick Lamar album. I'm gonna be honest. I probably never will. I'm gonna be honest. It, it, Look, don't get me wrong. He's the epitome of an artist from the lyricism to the vocal manipulation to the stylistic choices of production, the videos, the, his story, his ability to tell said story. All incredible. Do not let that go over your head. I'm not saying he's not that. It's just... For me personally, I'd rather just listen to some shit. I can just vibe to some shit. Biscuit shit smash. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. But Kendrick Lamar is one of them guys. I ain't gonna lie. That goes without saying. He's one of them guys. And I feel like this Kick Me Out video, it highlights that in such a way that it just, it kind of frames it in a way it's never been. Uh, I mean, maybe it has, but it's just like, for me personally, oh my God, this joke was so crazy. Like, oh my God, just undeniably genius. I'm telling you, look, from the way it, he, he got like the black and white scene of him just sitting there talking to a therapist and it flashed to color when he's telling the situation about the parking lot, taking a spot and shit. So what did you say to the, to the lady in the parking structure? You took my damn parking spot. I told her I'd take, take your, take your damn, damn parking spot. spot. But it's like the way that you could hear the, the doubling of the vocals from him telling it to the therapist while you're also hearing it from the situation. That's some real cinematic shit. Like, uh, I max Birkin. Like, you gonna max out your car trying to pay for that. I'm trying to, whew. Like, the way the video just pops in in between and just perfectly frames them on either side of it. And it's like, the idea or the concept of the video being a conversation isn't new, but the way the video was shot kind of like breathes new life into it. Like. This is a fresh take on it. Like, when you consider the small, intricate details, the well-treated scenes and the purposeful shots. And when you look at the credits at the end, it only showed those directed by Dave Free and Kendrick Lamar. So I gotta get, get credit to them boys. I mean, they went crazy. Like, this is different. As somebody who's not a Kendrick Lamar fan per se, this draws me in and makes me want to go check out more of the discography, even if it's just via the YouTube music videos or whatever. Just in general, this is the production the value of it is so crazy. The replay value is going back and watching everything and catching everything you didn't catch the first 13 times. I mean, also, I can't end a video without letting this listen. That little joke you had there looking like Keish from Belly. Look like she gonna get a nigga in trouble out here, Kenny. Whew.